what's up y'all so I had my OB appointment today and it went real fast real quick like don't mind my hair either like I was laying down but um I'm gonna just update y'all about my appointment that happened today so it went good real quick real fast um, as soon as I got in, ooh, this boy, ooh, he is like real low. It feels like he's about to come out. Oh my God. But, um, let me get in this car. Let me just sit down right there real quick. Oof. Don't mind the car. Like, we got a heck of stuff in this car because we're moving, as y'all saw in the last video. So, but, um, okay. So, let me just get a whole little down before I start. So, I have my appointment today. My third seven week and three-day appointment. And, um, I got in. I checked in. I went to the bathroom. I went to urine in the cup like I always have to do. As soon as I came out, they called me right back. They weighed, like, did my vitals and everything like that. They weighed me. I'm 121 pounds. That's, like, the highest, like, your girl has ever been. <laughs> like, sad to say, like, that is the highest I've ever been. But it ain't me. It's Sun Sun. Like, I feel, I feel like he's growing and growing. Like, when I went to my high-risk appointment last week, it was, um... He was, he was six pounds and five ounces, like, if y'all remember. So, so yeah. So, I was like, oh my God, by the time he, I give birth in, like, less than a week, like, he probably gonna be, like, seven pounds or something. That's crazy. But yeah, so yeah, I, they weighed me and then um, did my vitals and everything like that. They took me back. We waited for my doc, my OB to come in. He came in and then um, he listened to the heartbeat. I didn't get checked today. I didn't want to get checked because every other time, like when I did come, like he checked me. So I was like, no, I don't want to be told, oh no, you're still the same. You didn't dilate anymore. So, I just left it with that. Like, he checked the heartbeat. He said, okay, one more week. You know, next week is the last last appointment. And then we have the C-section. So, we done that. And then we left. Like, it was already, like, that was really it. So, it was nothing really much to tell at this appointment. Um, next week is my last appointment with him. And then we are scheduled for our C-section. So, and it's crazy because... We move into our place literally three days before I give into, um, I get scheduled for my C-section. While we moving into this place, I got to hurry up and set everything up for him. So by the time I get discharged from the hospital, like he's all good to go. That's fucking crazy. Hey vlog, I went to the hospital yet again. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, he is kicking my leg. Um, okay, mom, you tell him. Oh, we are back at the hospital. Um, she's having pains and stress up at the top. So, it looks like she might be in early labor. She is two centimeters dilated, y'all. So, and the doctor can feel water bag, all that good stuff in there when, you know, when they check. So, we'll see. I say we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna go let the on-call OB that's here now let them know and see what they want to do. Cause yeah, and my cervix is seventy percent e-face. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. The seventy percent e-face is that how you say it? Seventy percent face. Seventy percent face. So it's it's was long and then it's shortening up. It's really this much. Yeah. So it was like this, 
her cervix and now it has thinned out to right here yeah so I would be glad if they would be like okay yep you're in active labor we're gonna keep you <laughs> I'd be like finally because I do not want them in me anymore so yeah I'll keep you guys updated Hey guys, sorry, don't mind how I look. I literally kind of just woke up. Um, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, that's the TV in the back, in the background. But as you guys can see, I'm back at home. I ended up getting discharged. I'm not an active. Um, I'm not in active labor, so that's good. I'm just, I'm dilated. I am, you know, having these contractions. Um, yeah. Say hi. But I just have, this is the last week that I will be pregnant. And then next week, I will, I will be holding my son. So I just have to think of it that way. Um, when they did check me to see if I like dilated anymore, our gums are so swollen. But yeah, if when they check to see if I like, stop it. They can't hear mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they checked to see if I had, like, dilated anymore and everything like that, um, I don't know if I told you in the beginning, but, like, um, I'm just two centimeters dilated and 70% fixed, and they literally could feel my water, my water bag, they was like, yeah, you could lose your water, like, you could, your water could break sometime this week, or it could just, like, hold up until... The schedule C section, but yeah, my cervix was this big, this long, and now it's literally right here. They said he's still here, he's still freaking him in my belly. I'm exhausted, you guys. Like. My feet keep swelling up. I'm just having so much pain. These contractions, I have so much pressure down there. I just, I can't get comfortable, I can't sleep. Like I'm just, I'm literally so exhausted and drained that it makes me wanna cry. But it's just all part of the pregnancy. And I'm just not used to this because I didn't experience this with her, nor her sister. She was really small, so I didn't feel nothing like, yeah, I didn't really get to experience nothing with her. And then with my first one, she was five pounds and four ounces, so she wasn't as big as he is. So I wasn't in pain, like, oh, like, it hurts, like, there's no room, I got, no, like, I didn't have any pain until I was actually in labor. So, and I didn't experience, like, the feet swelling up or, like, nothing like that. Like I am with this one. Like I'm experiencing a lot more within this pregnancy. Um, like I wanted, but like still. Oh, what? Oh, it's right there. But yeah, so. We, we both took a nap. We both took a nap and now we up. Mm -hmm. Nana went bye bye to go get Auntie. Auntie Mommy. Auntie Mommy and Auntie Yaya. Yaya. Mm hmm. You sleep? No, then I sleep. Auntie Yaya was at work and Auntie Mommy was at school. So, so she had to go pick them up. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It didn't hurt. But, um. Yeah, so. I have one more week. This is the last week I'll be pregnant, y'all. And I just have to push through it. Sadly. 
And then this Friday, we move into our house. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, So I'm gonna get back to you guys later. I'm hungry, so. Okay, bye bye.